sustainable fisheries, commercial fishing methods, most common methods of fishery is partially defined by the way that it is caught. Gear selection plays a major role in determining the cost, efficiency and bycatch of a fishery. In this post we explain all the various methods to get fish out of the water and onto your plate. The figure below shows the proper proportion of wild caught fisheries by fishing method. Fishing with nets. When you think of commercial fishing, you probably think of big giant nets soaping up a cool of fish. You are not wrong. Over 80% of fish are caught by nets. There are several different kinds thought. Purse scene. In purse scene, fishing the most common way fish are caught a boat locates a school of fish. Then using either a crane or small boat takes one end of a net around the school and back to the fishing vessel. The ends of the net are signed together like a drawstring bag and pulled abroad with the fish inside. Because pursing targets a particular school of fish after it has been located by catch is extremely low. Sometimes fishing boats will deploy floating objects like big rafts or floating barrels to attract fish, fish love structure. These fish aggregating devices fads make cleaning much easier to reducing fuel use and time spent looking for schools of fish. However, fads also attract other. Marine life and bycatch is higher. Over half of all tuna is caught using poor sciences. When using fads by catch ranges between 8% whereas without fads by catch is less than 1%. Trawling. Trawling is dragging a net through the water behind a boat. There are two different kinds, bottom trawls and midwater trawls. Bottom trawls involve weighing a net down to the sea floor then dragging it across the bottom to scope a fish. <coughs> My cat is not overly concerning with bottom trawls but habitat damages. Sandy bottoms and rocky environments regenerate fairly quickly after a bottom trawl net comes through but bottom trawls can significantly impact sensitive habit like deep water coral of Sponge gardens. Good fishery management ensures that bottom trawling is done in sustainable areas and not in places with irrepressible habitat.